sleepovers with friends, especially if this friend is not used, not comfortable with sleepovers all the time. It's hard to compromise whether your friend wants the light on to sleep with on and you don't, but you can work things out and make it easy for both you and your friend to sleep at a sleepover. You just have to agree on something. Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you didn't already, I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. Pardon me while I take a sip of my lemon paradise punch lemonade. Anyway, um, today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I had a sleepover with a friend who was not really good with sleepovers, like, because she was afraid of the dark and everything. And so we did have a little bit of a situation where she wanted to sleep with the light on and I didn't want the room filled with light because I couldn't sleep. So we had to figure out a problem and we both worked one out where she could sleep with a small light on and I could sleep with it being dark. So this is a story just to let you guys know, if you have a friend that's not used to being at sleepovers and they're afraid of the dark and they want to sleep with the light on and you don't, try your best to work something out. Like put a night light on for your friend and then you don't have the room filled with light, bright lights on. And so it makes it easier for you both, like that your friend can sleep. Or if you are afraid of the dark and your friend isn't and they can't sleep with light on, put a small night light on to keep yourself to fall asleep and then your friend can sleep or they can wear like a sleep mask so then the light doesn't bother them or you could wear a sleep mask so the light doesn't bother you so you or you could turn your back to the side and sleep without the light shining right in your face so I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope this helps you for when you have a fear of the dark and you're at a sleepover or if your friend who's sleeping over has a fear of the dark and you both can work out a problem so here we go <laughs> So I think this started maybe about 22 years ago. I was in the third grade and I had this friend sleep over and this is a friend that I scared by accident in um, a, at a sleepover. And if you want to see the story, I'll link that down below if you didn't see. And um, my friend was sleeping over and she was not really much of a big sleepover person. Like she hated sleeping in the dark and she always had to have some light in the room. Like we would leave the light open, the door cracked open with the light and so she wouldn't be so scared. And so anytime like the lights were turned off, she kind of would start like feeling uncomfortable and like getting scared and stuff, which I completely get. But then whenever we had like lights filled on in the room or we'd turn like our lights that we would have over our beds on and stuff. But the problem was when we did that, it would shine right in my face and I couldn't sleep. So I would be turning it off and then my friend would get a little uncomfortable, but then I had to turn it back on. And then this one night, my friend is sleeping over and so, I'm trying to sleep and she wants she wants the light the bright light on that's right next to my bed and I'm like I can't sleep with that on she goes but I can't sleep in the dark and so I told her like how are we gonna solve this problem blah 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 she goes I want the room filled with light I'm like I'm sorry we can't do that because I need to sleep and I can't sleep with the light on so at this point I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated with my friend because she's not understanding I can't sleep with the bright light on and she really wants the light on because she's too scared to sleep in the dark and in my house is like pitch black dark and everything and it's really really difficult for um, people to see or it's difficult for some people to sleep if they're afraid of the dark and so I'm starting to get frustrated with my friend because she's like not letting me sleep because she wants the bedroom filled with light because she's too afraid to sleep in the dark and so I finally go I just want to sleep in a different room so finally my mom hears us kind of like arguing but we're not really arguing like we're mad at each other we're just trying to agree on a problem and my mom comes in after she hears the noise and she goes what's going on I'm like I want to sleep in a different room than my friend because she wants the room filled with light I can't sleep with the light on blah 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 and my mom's like Mina you can't do that you have to stay in the room to make your get make your friend comfortable blah 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 huh. and my friend was sleeping on the floor I was sleeping in my bed and so we were trying to figure out 
how to solve the problem. And then, cause my friends like wanted the light, uh, every single light on in the room cause she didn't want to sleep with it being dark cause she was too scared to sleep in the dark. And so basically my mom had an idea. She went downstairs, got a nightlight and put it on and turned the nightlight on for my friend. So she goes, how about we leave this nightlight on so your friend can sleep and then you can sleep and blah, 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 blah. So the nightlight was pretty bright, which was really good for my friend because she needed the bright, the light. And then, so once we had that problem solved, my mom goes over, turns the light on and turns the light off, not on, excuse me, the light off and then closes the door. And then I go to turn my light off and then I start to go to sleep and then my friend starts to go to sleep because she's now able to sleep with the nightlight on, which made it easy for the both of us. So we both go to sleep and then I apologize to my friend if I was, because I felt like I was being a little bit rude about not wanting to sleep in the same room because the bright light was on. And my friend's like, that's okay. And she also apologized for like, not um, compromising with me about having um, all the lights not wanting to have all the lights on in the room, about wanting to have all the lights on the in the room when I didn't. And I told her that's okay. And I completely understood because she was, because I was afraid of the dark when I was little too, so I couldn't completely understand. So we both ended up going back to sleep and we were able to sleep with the nightlight sleep because my friend had the nightlight on and then I was able to sleep because the nightlight wasn't shining right in my face, which was a good thing. So the moral of the story is, it is pretty frustrating when you have um, a friend or you're afraid of the dark and you want the room filled with light and you or your friend can't sleep with the room filled with light. It is quite frustrating when someone's not too scared to sleep when it's really dark dark and then you can't sleep when it's really dark. It just like it happens, but you have to figure out a way to solve the problem to make you and your friend happy. And the best thing you can do is just compromise and Put on a night light so then it's not like making the room too bright for you. And then your friend can sleep with the night light on or you can sleep with the night light on if you need the night light. Light and then it, and then the night light doesn't won't bother you as much because it's not as bright as the regular lights in the room. So just like maybe think of that is like use a night light for if you or you have a friend that's sleeping over that is afraid of the dark and use that for them so then you or your friend can sleep, which will make it easy. So that was the story about how my friend and I solved a little problem we had at, a, had at our sleepover. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video taught you how to compromise with your friend if she or she is afraid of the dark and they want some light in the room or and you can't sleep with the light on or you're afraid of the dark and your friend can't sleep with the light on and I hope on, on. So I hope this video taught you how to compromise with your friend of having a night light on so they can sleep and you can sleep, sleep. Or if you're afraid of the dark, you can sleep with a night light on and they can sleep as well because then the room's not filled with light. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.